Arabelle, the bat with the most wonderful pink glasses. Arabelle the bat loved to curl up in bed. She would cling to the rafters and hang down from her head. When the sun said hello and away went the moon, off to bed, off to bed, daddy would croon. But as soon as the moon took over the sky, Arabelle was up and ready to fly. Arabelle's rainforest was the place she called home, a wonderful, colorful, wet place to roam. It was time to go looking for fruit and for berries. Arabelle loved mangoes, bananas, and cherries. She's a fruit-eating bat, as you most likely could tell, who loved to eat fruit, the taste and the smell. She would fly through the night and search in the trees, finding mangoes and cherries and bananas with ease. And then late one night, as she flew through the sky, she hit something hard and let out a cry. She thought she was head heading for a nice prickly pear, but all of a sudden a tree trunk was there. Ouch, she cried to her friends, Clive and Bree. What happened, they said, did you hit a tree? I did, she cried with a look of dismay. The pear was right there, the tree got in the way. I wanted to get a sweet, juicy bite, but my eyes must have tricked me. I'm losing my sight. The mangoes and grapefruits look blurry and small. Those figs and those dates, I can't see them at all. You're blind as a bat, said her friend Marguerite. You flounder and stumble, trip over your feet. So off Arabelle flew to find Mom and Dad. She was scared and afraid that her eyes had gone bad. Mom, Dad, I had to come home. I can no longer fly. I can no longer roam. My eyes are too blurry. Everything's small. I bump into trees. I can't see at all. When looking for berries or bananas or figs, I fly into branches, get tangled in twigs. Do not cry, honey, Mom and Dad said. Your eyes will be fine. Now go off to bed. The next day the sun came up and went down but Arabelle stayed home with her tears and a frown. Don't worry, Dad said, all will be fine. I bought you some glasses. They are like mine. Glasses, said Arabelle. What will they do? They look sort of silly. I'll look just like you. They will help you find mangoes, bananas, and cherries. They will help you find figs, dates, grapefruits, and berries. I look silly, not like Clive, not like Bree. I don't want these glasses. I don't want to see. I don't want to be different. I don't want them at all. I don't care if it's blurry. I don't care if it's small. Arabelle's mom laughed. We're not the same at all. Clive is short and Marguerite is tall. Grandpa is plump. Grandma is thin. I have long ears and a dimple on my chin. The thing that makes us special is how different we all are. Some of us see close and some of us see far. Mommy flies slowly and Daddy flies quickly. My skin is soft and Dad's is quite prickly. So Araba went to bed to ponder and think. I think I like glasses. Besides, they are pink. The next night when all the bats came to play, everyone had something they wanted to say. We love your glasses. They're pink and so new. Bree and Clive wanted pink glasses too. These glasses are great. They really make me, me. But the best part of all is how much I can see. She loved her pink glasses. Her friends loved them too. And shortly thereafter, Clive got some in blue.